Hello again and welcome back to the shop. I'm not filming in the shop today, which is probably pretty evident, but uh, it's freezing cold outside, so I decided to shoot indoors. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys my Valentine build. I made this for my wife. It's a little wall hanging. She actually likes it sitting better on the mantle of the fireplace, which works well too. I know that today is the 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, but I really didn't want to post my video early because my wife does follow me on YouTube and I did not want her seeing what she was going to be getting as a gift. So without any further ado, here's the build video. I found this picture on the internet and I've decided for Valentine's Day to make a wall hanging for my wife that somewhat resembles this design. I rooted around my wood pile and I found some pink dogwood that I'll use for the background, some wenge that I'm going to use for the letters, and a little bit of paduk that I'll use for the, for the heart. My plan is to treat this uh, like I might treat an intarsia. I want to cut out each of the pieces and then I want to shape them to give uh, some dimensionality to the overall piece.
got all of my pieces cut out. I'm ready to uh, start shaping. I'm at the spindle sander and I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping the interior and the exterior of this heart and just kind of give it uh, a nice, a nice smooth round effect. This piece of pink dogwood that I'm planning to use as the backer for my hanging heart decoration is just a little too thick, so I'm going to use my belt sander here and take it down a little bit. Now that I've got the backing piece down to a more manageable size, my next step is to take the heart ring and to trace the interior of it onto the backing piece and to try to get it cut out exactly to fit inside of here. I don't want to see that lip on the back of this piece. I want, I want it to be flat and this is all the thicker that I want the piece to be. So I'm going to work on that next. With the heart and the backing board done, I now need to turn my attention to the letters. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with these, but I do know right off the bat I want to shorten them to about half of their normal depth. So we're going to take them over to the belt sander. Uh, I won't film that part. It's pretty much the same as uh, when I did the backer board. And I'm just going to basically take them down uh, a little bit, and then I'll bring them back over and decide how I want to work, uh, work on the front of them. I'm using some small files to help clean these letters up. And what I'll do is you can see the top of the E. It's got more of a pronounced uh, ledge there versus the bottom. I just take the little file 
into the corner and I'll work it from both sides a little bit and just kind of roll it to give that nice little pronounced edge really makes it stand out I know it's tough to see with these dark letters but it'll really make the letters stand out uh, so I'm gonna clean the rest of my letters up and then we'll come back and get them glued into the background I've done a little bit of shaping on the letters I'm happy with how they're turning out I'm at the point now where it's time to do some serious hand sanding so I'm gonna break out the sandpaper and uh, go after it I have the entire project sanded I'm happy with how it's turned out uh, really I think it looks nice I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything glued up, and once the glue dries, um, I think I'm going to put a couple of coats of lacquer on this. While I finish sanding, I think the uh, project looks great. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I'm going to go ahead now and get everything glued together, and we'll let it dry overnight and see how she looks in the morning. I've already shot two coats of lacquer onto this uh, little wall hanger. Uh, I neglected to turn the camera on, but I'm going to go ahead and film shooting the final, final coat. It's looking really good. I'm happy with how it's turning out. So let me get the lacquer and we'll get going. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in the shop today. This was a fun little project. I personalized it and signed it on the back just for my wife. Uh, it was a very happy Valentine's Day. I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy belated Valentine's Day. If you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'll try to answer and respond to all comments and questions. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button down below. All my future videos will be delivered directly to your YouTube feed. And if you happen to be on Facebook, look me up and give me a like. RJB Woodturner, 